You're listening to NOAA Weather Radio, station KWO37 in Los Angeles. This broadcast originates from the National Weather Service Forecast Office located on the grounds of the USC campus downtown station in Los Angeles, California. Station KWO37 broadcasts on a frequency of 162.55 MHz. Here is the hazardous weather outlook for Northern California, Southwestern California, and the Baja California Peninsula, including the Great Los Angeles Metropolitan Area. For today and tomorrow, no hazardous weather is expected at this time. Over the next few days, Monday through Wednesday, recent models including National Weather Service meteorologists are predicting that a major hurricane will strike the Los Angeles metropolitan area on Wednesday and could make landfall starting from Northern California and impact Los Angeles on Wednesday morning. At this time, it is too early to track the intensity and determine this storm but the National Weather Service believes that it will reach major hurricane status. All residents of the Great Los Angeles metropolitan area are strongly advised to remain vigilant and tune into news stations for updates from your local National Weather Service forecast office and the National Hurricane Center, and listen to weather statements and possible warnings. Be prepared to take action, if needed. The National Weather Service in Sacramento and Los Angeles has issued a tropical storm watch for Northern California, Southwestern California, and the Baja California Peninsula, including the Great Los Angeles Metropolitan Area. This includes the following counties, in Northern California, Inyo, Madera, Mano, Kings, Mariposa, Sierra, San Mateo, Modoc, Alameda, Solano, San Francisco, and Oakland, and for the following counties, in southwestern California, Los Angeles, Ventura, San Diego, Riverside, Orange, San Bernardino, San Diego, San Luis Obispo, Imperial, and Kern. A tropical storm watch means tropical storm conditions, which are sustained winds of 34 to 63 knots or 39 to 73 miles per hour associated with a tropical storm are expected within 48 hours. Tropical Storm Murray has formed approximately 700 miles off the coast of Los Angeles. Tropical storm force winds are possible late Tuesday until the very early hours of Wednesday, as of the 6 a.m. Pacific Daylight Time Advisory. Tropical Storm Murray is located approximately 650 miles off the coast of Los Angeles. Storm motion is south-southwest at 10 to 15 miles per hour. Maximum sustained winds are near 55 miles per hour with gusts of up to 70 miles per hour or higher, on its current forecast track. Tropical Storm Murray is expected to intensify rapidly due to really warm waters in the west coast, with it strengthening to a hurricane either later today or tomorrow, with landfall expected on Wednesday morning or afternoon beginning in Northern California. Storm surge is expected in coastal areas, with of up to 2 to 4 feet possible but this could change over the next coming days as the storm approaches California. Tune into your local NOAA weather radio for the latest information on the track and intensity of Tropical Storm Murray.
The National Weather Service in Sacramento and Los Angeles has issued a storm surge watch for Northern California, Southwestern California, and the Baja California Peninsula, including the Great Los Angeles Metropolitan Area. A storm surge watch means that life-threatening inundation from rising water moving inland from the shoreline are expected within 48 hours. The storm surge levels are expected to be around 2 to 4 inches on Wednesday morning as Tropical Storm Murray makes landfall. There is a possibility that isolated areas could reach up to 3 to 5 inches of storm surge. The storm surge levels may intensify if Tropical Storm Murray strengthens which is expected to strengthen over the next 36 to 48 hours. During a storm surge, avoid the coast as the storm surge waters can flood the beach within minutes. Move farther inland for your safety. The storm surge flooding can spread for miles which can cause widespread flash flooding. Flash flooding is a very dangerous situation. Monitor local media outlets as well as NOAA Weather Radio and the National Hurricane Center for more updates on the track and intensity of Tropical Storm Murray. The National Weather Service in Sacramento and Los Angeles has issued a hurricane watch for Northern California, Southwestern California, and the Baja California Peninsula, including the Great Los Angeles Metropolitan Area. A hurricane watch means hurricane conditions, which are sustained winds of 64 knots or 74 miles per hour associated with a hurricane are expected within 48 hours. Tropical Storm Murray has already strengthened into a hurricane and is expected to make landfall starting Wednesday night lasting until Thursday afternoon, beginning in San Francisco, and will continue moving southeast into Los Angeles all the way up to the Baja California Peninsula, on its current forecast track. Tropical storm force winds are expected on Wednesday afternoon, with hurricane force winds expected on Wednesday night, and lasting until Thursday afternoon. As of right now, Hurricane Murray is still far away from California, with its center located approximately 500 miles off the coast of California. Murray is currently a Category 1 hurricane with maximum sustained winds of up to 80 miles per hour, with gusts of up to 90 miles per hour. However, Murray is expected to rapidly intensify over the next 12 hours. Minimal central pressure last measured by Hurricane Hunter's aircraft was 970 millibars, or 28.6 inches. Murray is expected to intensify rapidly due to extremely hot water temperatures, and is in the perfect condition to become an extremely dangerous Category 5 hurricane. This will be the first ever Category 5 projected hurricane in the Pacific Ocean, and within the favor of the conditions, this hurricane can possibly be the strongest tropical cyclone to have ever existed. Storm surge flooding of up to 3 to 5 inches are expected in coastal areas. All boaters are advised to report back to port by Wednesday morning before the onset of tropical storm conditions on Wednesday afternoon. Although this hurricane is still far away from California, residents should begin preparing supplies and a plan to evacuate once a hurricane warning is issued. Monitor local media outlets as well as the National Hurricane Center and the National Weather Service for the latest weather information.
Good afternoon. I'm your host Tom Stevens, and we have some breaking news coming out of Los Angeles. A major once-in-a-lifetime hurricane, Murray, is expected to strike Los Angeles late Wednesday afternoon. According to a post from the National Hurricane Center that stated an update on the storm, Hurricane Murray is already a Category 3 hurricane with winds of up to 115 miles per hour, with gusts of up to 125 miles per hour. Despite this hurricane still being extremely far away from California, due to very hot water temperatures in the entire Pacific Ocean and Hurricane Murray having a lot of ocean to live in, it is expected to rapidly strengthen, and, holy cow, it is expected to rapidly intensify to a Category 5 hurricane, which will be the first ever hurricane with such magnitude in the Pacific Ocean. This is not a joke. California is literally about to have its first ever major hurricane, and California is not built for this type of weather. This is certainly we have never thought about in the West Coast, as hurricanes almost never strike here due to typically cold waters. But for some unknown reason, the water temperature is really hot, and now we are in danger for a potential historic and unprecedented tropical system in California. As of right now, a hurricane watch and a storm surge watch is in effect for Southern California, Southwestern California, Northern California, and the Baja California Peninsula and Mexico as storm surges of 4 to 6 feet are expected with this storm, but this may change. Let's turn it over to meteorologist David Solis, with more on this storm. Thank you, Tom. This is definitely a once-in-a-lifetime hurricane in the Pacific Ocean. Like you said, Almost no hurricanes strike the west coast due to typical cold ocean waters. We do not know what is the cause of the water temperatures being this hot, but as of now, the conditions are favorable for the development of monster hurricanes, and Hurricane Murray is already in the perfect condition to become a monster storm. It is still really far away from California, and it's already a Category 3 hurricane. With this much ocean for Hurricane Murray to survive in, it will most likely be an extremely powerful Category 5 hurricane. Hurricane Murray is on track to become one of the most deadliest and powerful storms in Earth's 4 billion years of existence, with unexpected and unusual landfall expected in the West Coast. This hurricane is still strengthening as we speak. Even though Murray is 48 hours away from landfall, residents should come up with a plan of how to deal with a once-in-a-lifetime storm of unprecedented proportions, such as evacuating the city. Back over to you, Tom. Thank you, David. Within the next few minutes, Mayor Karen Bass is expected to deliver a message regarding the preparations for this storm. Please stand by for this message. Good afternoon, my fellow citizens of Los Angeles. This is your mayor, Karen Bass speaking. Over the last few hours, I have met with all the mayors of many major cities in the state of California, including San Francisco, San Diego, Santa Monica, etc., to discuss preparations for the incoming once-in-a-lifetime landfall of Hurricane Murray. We have agreed to close all beaches in all coasts of the state of California starting on Monday morning at 6 a.m. All citizens must be off all beaches at that time. If you are caught on the beach past 6 a.m., you will be arrested and charged with the fullest extent of the law. We have also agreed to postpone or cancel all events that will take place over the next few weeks, including NBA games, MLB games, concerts, plays, etc. Also, I, and all mayors of the cities of the state of California have implemented a voluntary evacuation order for the following cities, Los Angeles, San Francisco, San Diego, Santa Monica, Sacramento, Fresno, Monterey, San Luis Obispo, Santa Barbara, Ventura, Bakersfield, and San Bernardino. This is only a voluntary order, and it is not recommended at that time. If you think it is the right decision to evacuate, you may leave as you please. If you choose to evacuate, make sure you take necessary supplies for your journey, such as non-perishable food, water, clothing, medical supplies a flashlight, a first aid kit, a fully charged cell phone, phone chargers, toiletries, important documents, and a radio operated by batteries or hand crank, that can last you and each member of your family for at least a few weeks. Even though this hurricane is still far away from California, this evacuation order may become mandatory soon, 
as Hurricane Murray will continue to move closer to our area. In addition, I will order to shut down any transportation services except for evacuation purposes, such as taxi, bus, or subway services. I know these are very strict precautions, but this is the only necessary way to protect our citizens from a once-in-a-lifetime storm that California is not built for. That concludes my message, thank you, and please be safe. Extremely dangerous, historic, and a once-in-a-lifetime Hurricane Murray bearing down on the Los Angeles metropolitan area. The National Weather Service in Los Angeles has issued a hurricane warning for Los Angeles County in Southern California, Orange County in Southern California, San Bernardino County in Southern California, San Diego County in Southern California, Riverside County in Southern California, Santa Monica County in Southern California, until 6.30 a.m. Pacific Daylight Time Friday. A hurricane warning means hurricane conditions, which are sustained winds of 64 knots or 74 miles per hour associated with a hurricane expected within 36 hours. Murray is continuing its track towards the Los Angeles metropolitan area, with landfall expected beginning from Northern California, all the way to the Los Angeles metropolitan area within the next 36 hours. As of the 6 a.m. Pacific Daylight Time Advisory, the eye of Hurricane Murray was located approximately 200 miles off the coast of Los Angeles. Current storm motion is southeast at 25 miles per hour. Murray is currently an unprecedentedly strong Category 5 hurricane on the Saphir Simpson scale, with maximum sustained winds of up to 185 miles per hour, with gusts of up to 210 miles per hour. It is expected that the storm motion of Murray will increase to 35 to 40 miles per hour within the next 12 hours or more, on its current forecast track. Hurricane Murray has already intensified to a Category 5 hurricane very quickly, and will continue to strengthen as it approaches the coast. Murray still has 200 miles of ocean to survive in, and will make landfall in the state of California with maximum sustained winds of up to 200 miles per hour or even more. Minimal central pressure last measured by Hurricane Hunter's aircraft was 895 millibars, or 26.43 inches. Hurricane force winds are extending out 175 miles from the center, with tropical storm force winds extending out 300 miles. 18 to 24 inches of storm surge are expected in coastal areas, with isolated amounts of up to 36 inches possible. The storm surge will likely spread for miles shore which can cause widespread and catastrophic flooding to occur. Extreme amounts of rainfall are also expected in areas near the coast, with rainfall amounts of up to 12 to 24 inches. This will make the flooding with the storm surge even worse. Manufactured homes will suffer total destruction, and mobile homes will be completely wiped out of existence. Expect blowing power lines from extreme winds and long-lasting power outages, likely lasting for an indefinite period of time once the hurricane passes. All trees will be completely uprooted, snapped, and blown away, which will block most, if not all roads. Due to the extreme amounts of rain, this will cause the overflow of many lakes, rivers, streams, and creeks, causing catastrophic flooding to spread for miles inland. Small lakes and streams will become raging rivers, this flooding will completely submerge and sweep away any small structures, including leaving homes or large structures with extensive damage. The storm surge will act like a tsunami in coastal locations, destroying any roads and bridges in these locations. In addition, a tsunami threat is also possible associated from this hurricane, as the extreme pressure and winds will blow in the ocean waters, generating larger waves and small tsunamis that can track towards the coast. Drinking water and sewer systems may be interrupted, and as a result, flood waters may be toxic. 
All coastal areas will be completely impassable and uninhabitable once the storm passes. Widespread tornadoes and water spouts are expected with this storm, with some tornadoes possibly being strong or long-tracked. Multiple water spouts can form in the coast, which can also increase the chances of a bigger tsunami threat, and can move inland as tornadoes. Precautionary Preparedness Actions Now this is the time to come up with an emergency plan on how to deal with an approaching once-in-a-lifetime storm. A mandatory evacuation order is now in effect for the warned area. Efforts should be underway to protect your life and property. Make sure you bring a survival kit for your journey with non-perishable food, water, clothing, medical supplies, a flashlight, a first aid kit, a fully charged cell phone, phone chargers, toiletries, important documents, and a radio operated by batteries and hand crank, to last you and each member of your family. Do not remain in the warned area, as no shelter will provide any protection from this hurricane. Evacuate now. I repeat, evacuate now. If you stay in the warned area, you will most likely face certain death. Please stay tuned to NOAA Weather Radio and the National Hurricane Center for more information on this dangerous situation. Extremely dangerous, historic, and a once-in-a-lifetime Hurricane Murray bearing down on the San Francisco metropolitan area. The National Weather Service in Sacramento has issued a hurricane warning for San Francisco County in Northern California, Sacramento County in Northern California, Santa Clara County in Northern California, Santa Cruz County in Northern California, Monterey County in Northern California, until 6.30 a.m. Pacific Daylight Time Friday. A hurricane warning means hurricane conditions, which are sustained winds of 64 knots or 74 miles per hour associated with the hurricane expected within 36 hours. Murray is continuing its track towards the Los Angeles metropolitan area, with landfall expected beginning from Northern California, all the way to the Los Angeles metropolitan area within the next 36 hours. As of the 6 a.m. Pacific Daylight Time Advisory, the eye of Hurricane Murray was located approximately 200 miles off the coast of Los Angeles. Current storm motion is southeast at 25 miles per hour. Murray is currently an unprecedentedly strong Category 5 hurricane on the Saphir Simpson scale, with maximum sustained winds of up to 185 miles per hour, with gusts of up to 210 miles per hour. It is expected that the storm motion of Murray will increase to 35 to 40 miles per hour within the next 12 hours or more, on its current forecast track. Hurricane Murray has already intensified to a Category 5 hurricane very quickly, and will continue to strengthen as it approaches the coast. Murray still has 200 miles of ocean to survive in, and will make landfall in the state of California with maximum sustained wind of up to 200 miles per hour or even more. Minimal central pressure last measured by Hurricane Hunter's aircraft was 895 millibars, or 26.43 inches. Hurricane force winds are extending out 175 miles from the center, with tropical storm force winds extending out 300 miles. 18 to 24 inches of storm surge are expected in coastal areas, with isolated amounts of up to 36 inches possible. The storm surge will likely spread for miles shore which can cause widespread and catastrophic flooding to occur. Extreme amounts of rainfall are also expected in areas near the coast, with rainfall amounts of up to 12 to 24 inches. This will make the flooding with the storm surge even worse. Manufactured homes will suffer total destruction, and mobile homes will be completely wiped out of existence. Expect blowing power lines from extreme winds and long-lasting power outages, likely lasting for an indefinite period of time once the hurricane passes. All trees will be completely uprooted, snapped, and blown away, which will block most, if not all roads. 
due to the extreme amounts of rain. This will cause the overflow of many lakes, rivers, streams, and creeks, causing catastrophic flooding to spread for miles inland. Small lakes and streams will become raging rivers. This flooding will completely submerge and sweep away any small structures, including leaving homes or large structures with extensive damage. The storm surge will act like a tsunami in coastal locations, destroying any roads and bridges in these locations. In addition, a tsunami threat is also possible associated from this hurricane, as the extreme pressure and winds will blow in the ocean waters, generating larger waves and small tsunamis that can track towards the coast. Drinking water and sewer systems may be interrupted, and as a result, flood waters may be toxic. All coastal areas will be completely impassable and uninhabitable once the storm passes. Widespread tornadoes and water spouts are expected with this storm, with some tornadoes possibly being strong or long-tracked. Multiple water spouts can form in the coast, which can also increase the chances of a bigger tsunami threat, and can move inland as tornadoes. Precautionary Preparedness Actions Now this is the time to come up with an emergency plan on how to deal with an approaching once-in-a-lifetime storm. A mandatory evacuation order is now in effect for the warned area. Efforts should be underway to protect your life and property. Make sure you bring a survival kit for your journey with non-perishable food, water, clothing, medical supplies, a flashlight, a first aid kit, a fully charged cell phone, phone chargers, toiletries, important documents, and a radio operated by batteries and hand crank, to last you and each member of your family. Do not remain in the warned area, as no shelter will provide any protection from this hurricane. Evacuate now. I repeat, evacuate now. If you stay in the warned area, you will most likely face certain death. Please stay tuned to NOAA Weather Radio and the National Hurricane Center for more information on this dangerous situation. Storm surge warning in effect until 6.30 a.m. Pacific Daylight Time Friday. The National Weather Service in Los Angeles has issued a storm surge warning, which is in effect until 6.30 a.m. Pacific Daylight Time Friday. Location, coastal areas of Southern California, Northern California, and the Baja California Peninsula. Storm surge is expected on Wednesday evening until Friday morning as Hurricane Murray approaches the coast. Storm surge. There is the potential of flooded inundation of 18 to 24 feet above ground level in parts of the warned area. A storm surge warning means that hazardous storm surge is imminent or occurring. Coastal residents in the warned area should be alert for coastal flooding and take appropriate action to protect life and property. Boaters should seek safe harbor immediately until the threat passes. Please tune into local media outlets as well as NOAA Weather Radio for more information on this dangerous situation. Storm surge warning in effect until 6.30 a.m. Pacific Daylight Time Friday. The National Weather Service in Sacramento has issued a storm surge warning, which is in effect until 6.30 a.m. Pacific Daylight Time Friday. Location, coastal areas of Northern California, Southern California, and the Baja California Peninsula. Storm surge is expected on Wednesday evening until Friday morning as Hurricane Murray approaches the coast. Storm surge. There is the potential of flooded inundation of 18 to 24 feet above ground level in parts of the warned area. A storm surge warning means that hazardous storm surge is imminent or occurring. Coastal residents in the warned area should be alert for coastal flooding 
and take appropriate action to protect life and property. Boaters should seek safe harbor immediately until the threat passes. Please tune into local media outlets as well as NOAA Weather Radio for more information on this dangerous situation. The National Weather Service in Sacramento and Los Angeles has issued a flash flood watch for Northern California, Southern California, and the Baja California Peninsula, including the Great Los Angeles Metropolitan Area, which is in effect until 6.30 a.m. Pacific Daylight Time Friday. This is an extremely dangerous situation. Hurricane Murray has been rapidly intensifying due to eyewall replacement cycles and extremely hot coastal waters. These eyewall replacement cycles will create a wider area of heavy rainfall across the warned area as the storm continues its track towards San Francisco. Rainfall amounts of up to 12 to 24 inches are expected, with isolated amounts of 36 inches possible. This will result in the overflow of many lakes, rivers, streams, and creeks, which will cause widespread and catastrophic flooding to occur. The rain will begin falling in the area starting Wednesday afternoon, and will continue to fall until the early hours of Friday. Lakes and creeks will act like raging rivers, which will cause massive flooding in neighborhoods near the lakes and creeks. A flash flood watch means that conditions may develop that lead to flash flooding. Flash flooding is a very dangerous situation. You should monitor later forecasts, and be prepared to take action should flash flood warnings be issued. The National Weather Service in Sacramento and Los Angeles has issued a tornado watch number 342 for Northern California, Southern California, and the Baja California Peninsula, including the Great Los Angeles Metropolitan Area, which is in effect until 6.30 a.m. Pacific Daylight Time Friday. This is an extremely dangerous situation. The outer bands of Hurricane Murray will start spreading into the watch area as the storm continues its track towards Los Angeles. There is a high risk of tornadoes is in the stronger outer convective bands. The following areas that are at high risk for tornadoes include San Francisco, San Diego, Los Angeles, Santa Monica, Sacramento, Carlsbad, Oceanside, and Riverside. While several tornadoes may be weak and short-tracked, there is a possibility that some tornadoes can be strong to even violent and long-tracked. A tornado watch means that the conditions are favorable for the development of severe weather, including tornadoes, large hail, flooding, and damaging winds in and close to the watch area. Residents in the high-risk area should be on the lookout for rapidly changing weather conditions and listen to statements to possible warnings. Stay tuned to NOAA Weather Radio for the latest severe weather information.
Civil danger for the Los Angeles metropolitan area. The following message is transmitted at the request of the Federal Emergency Management Agency. Hurricane Murray has intensified rapidly and is expected to make landfall beginning from Northern California and will impact the Los Angeles metropolitan area within the next six hours. At 4 p.m. Pacific Daylight Time, the eye of Hurricane Murray was located approximately 100 miles off the coast of California. Murray is an unprecedentedly powerful, historic, and a once-in-a-lifetime Category 5 hurricane on the Saffir-Simpson scale, with maximum sustained winds of up to 220 miles per hour, with gusts as high as 250 miles per hour, which makes it the fastest sustained winds in a tropical system that has ever existed. Minimal central pressure last measured by Hurricane Hunter's aircraft was 865 millimers, or 25.54 inches, which also makes it the most intense tropical cyclone ever recorded. Slight weakening is expected before the storm makes landfall, but will still impact the Los Angeles metropolitan area as an extremely strong Category 5 hurricane. Murray is moving south-southeast at 40 miles per hour, and will remain in this motion for the next several hours. A hurricane warning remains in effect for Northern and Southern California, including the Baja California Peninsula. Hurricane force winds are extending out 230 miles from the center, with tropical storm force winds extending out 415 miles. The following impacts will be expected. The entire Los Angeles metropolitan area and other major cities will be left uninhabitable for several months, or even years. Most if not all well-constructed homes will be obliterated, with no remaining of the structures left outstanding. Larger buildings such as skyscrapers and apartment complexes will sway violently until the point of complete collapse. All windows will be blown out. Large chunks of debris will spread out for several miles. Large objects such as vehicles and household appliances will be thrown around by the winds, and will be completely destroyed. High-profile vehicles will almost certainly be overturned. People and animals who venture outdoors during the onset of hurricane force winds will be killed instantly by flying debris. Power poles and power lines will be thrown around, causing power outages that will last for an indefinite period of time. All trees will be lifted from the ground. Storm surge flooding is expected with coastal structures being completely decimated. Major beach erosion is likely due to extreme coastal flooding. People that live in the area will certainly not recognize the area before the storm impacted. A mandatory evacuation order has been put in effect for the warned area. Follow specific evacuation routes set up by your local authorities. This is a mass casualty situation. You will face certain death if you do not evacuate. Stay off the telephone lines unless you have an emergency. Evacuate now. I repeat, evacuate now. Do not delay. Tune into local media outlets for more information on this dangerous situation. Extreme wind emergency for the San Francisco metropolitan area. Take cover now. Take cover now. The National Weather Service in San Francisco Bay Area has issued an extreme wind warning for Alameda County in Northern California, Contra Costa County in Northern California, Marin County in Northern California, Napa County in Northern California, San Francisco County in Northern California, San Mateo County in Northern California, Santa Clara County in Northern California, Solano County in Northern California, Sonoma County in Northern California, until 9.30 a.m. Pacific Daylight Time. At 
10.30 p.m. Pacific Daylight Time, the eye wall of the extremely violent Hurricane Murray was located near the coast of San Francisco, moving southeast at 55 miles per hour. National Weather Service Doppler radar indicated extreme winds in excess of 205 miles per hour. We are moving on shore. This is an extremely dangerous and life or death situation. If you did not evacuate California due to the approaching Hurricane Murray, your chances of survival is almost zero. The only chance you have at survival is sheltering in a secure room with little to no windows and doors. Treat these extreme winds as if a tornado was approaching, and move quickly to anywhere that can somehow save your life. Take action now to protect your life. Even though your survival chances are very slim, the best you can do is pray and hope for the best. If there is no secure area in your house, your only options is to either hide inside of a closet, or get under a table or other piece of sturdy furniture. Use mattresses, blankets, and pillows to cover your head and body. Remain in place through the passage of these life-threatening conditions. Extreme wind emergency for the Sacramento metropolitan area. Take cover now. Take cover now. The National Weather Service in Sacramento has issued an extreme wind warning for Sutter County in Northern California, Placer County in Northern California, El Dorado County in Northern California, Amador County in Northern California, Sacramento County in Northern California, San Joaquin County in Northern California, Yolo County in Northern California, until 9.30 a.m. Pacific Daylight Time. At 10.30 p.m. Pacific Daylight Time, the eye wall of the extremely violent Hurricane Murray was located near the coast of San Francisco, moving southeast at 55 miles per hour. National Weather Service Doppler radar indicated extreme winds in excess of 200 miles per hour. We are moving on shore. This is an extremely dangerous and life or death situation. If you did not evacuate California due to the approaching Hurricane Murray, your chances of survival is almost zero. The only chance you have at survival is sheltering in a secure room with little to no windows and doors. Treat these extreme winds as if a tornado was approaching, and move quickly to anywhere that can somehow save your life. Take action now to protect your life. Even though your survival chances are very slim, the best you can do is pray and hope for the best. If there is no secure area in your house, your only options is to either hide inside of a closet, or get under a table or other piece of sturdy furniture. Use mattresses, blankets, and pillows to cover your head and body. Remain in place through the passage of these life-threatening conditions. Extreme wind emergency for the Los Angeles metropolitan area. Take cover now. Take cover now. The National Weather Service in Los Angeles has issued an extreme wind warning for Los Angeles County in Southern California, Orange County in Southern California, Ventura County in Southern California, Riverside County in Southern California, San Bernardino County in Southern California, until 9.30 a.m. Pacific Daylight Time. At 10.30 p.m. Pacific Daylight Time, the eye wall of the extremely violent Hurricane Murray was located near Ventura, or 15 miles south of Los Angeles, moving southeast at 60 miles per hour. National Weather Service Doppler radar indicated extreme winds in excess of 215 miles per hour. We are moving on shore. This is an extremely dangerous and life or death situation. 
If you did not evacuate California due to the approaching Hurricane Murray, your chances of survival is almost zero. The only chance you have at survival is sheltering in a secure room with little to no windows and doors. Treat these extreme winds as if a tornado was approaching, and move quickly to anywhere that can somehow save your life. Take action now to protect your life. Even though your survival chances are very slim, the best you can do is pray and hope for the best. If there is no secure area in your house, your only options is to either hide inside of a closet, or get under a table or other piece of sturdy furniture. Use mattresses, blankets, and pillows to cover your head and body. Remain in place through the passage of these life-threatening conditions. The National Weather Service in San Francisco has issued a special marine warning for coastal waters from Baker Beach to Chrissy Field East Beach out 2.8 nautical miles until 3.30 a.m. Pacific Daylight Time. At 11.30 p.m. Pacific Daylight Time, a severe thunderstorm that is producing a water spout and extreme wind damage was located near the Golden Gate Bridge, moving southwest at around 43 knots. Hazard shoe-sized hail and wind gusts of up to 160 knots. Source, public and weather cams. Impact, all boats will be flipped or spun out of control, small craft will become deadly and suddenly higher waves. Locations impacted include, the entire shoreline of San Francisco. Extreme winds and high storm surge are expected. If you are near the coastline, move away from the area immediately, as the storm surge, extreme winds, and a water spout will strike near the shoreline of San Francisco. If you are in an area that is prone to high winds and flooding, evacuate to a safer location immediately, but beware of blowing debris. Extremely large and deadly tornado heading directly towards the San Francisco metropolitan area. This is an extreme tornado emergency for the city of San Francisco and surrounding areas. This is a mass casualty situation. Complete and utter devastation to the emergency area is expected. The National Weather Service in San Francisco has issued a tornado warning for Western Alameda County in Northern California, Northwestern San Mateo County in Northern California, Southwestern Marin County in Northern California, until 1.30 a.m. Pacific Daylight Time. At 10.30 p.m. Pacific Daylight Time, a confirmed extremely large, violent, and deadly tornado associated from Hurricane Murray was located three miles ahead of the Golden Gate Bridge, or five miles south of downtown San Francisco, moving south at 50 miles per hour. Extreme tornado emergency for the city of San Francisco and surrounding areas. This is a mass casualty situation. Complete and utter devastation to absolutely anything to the emergency area is expected. Anyone in the path of this once-in-a-lifetime tornado must seek shelter now. Although there are no underground shelters in California, it is recommended that you shelter in a basement or any room with a few windows and entrances to the outside world. Hazard, catastrophic, historic, and a once-in-a-lifetime West Coast tornado. 
source, radar, emergency management, law enforcement, the public, police, local news stations, weather cams, and train storm spotters report an extremely large F5 tornado that tore through the Golden Gate Bridge heading directly towards downtown San Francisco. At 10.32 p.m., the Golden Gate Bridge and areas surrounding the bridge were completely swept away. This tornado has the capability to obliterate and shred absolutely anything away from its path. This tornado, initially classified as a water spout, was formed near the Golden Gate Bridge that eventually moved inland to the shoreline while rapidly gaining strength. At 10.33 p.m., National Weather Service Doppler radar and meteorologists have confirmed that this tornado is approximately 2.6 miles wide, with velocities near 260 miles per hour. Impact, you are in a life or death situation. There is almost no chance of surviving this tornado due to no underground shelters in the state of California and it not being built for extremely rare severe weather. Your only hope of survival is seeking shelter in a basement, a closet, or an interior room with a few windows and doors. Complete devastation of entire neighborhoods is likely. Most, if not all homes and businesses will be completely swept clean from their foundations. Most, if not all roadways and highways will be completely blocked by trees or debris. Mass devastation is expected making San Francisco completely unrecognizable to survivors. Locations impacted include, coastal waters from Baker Beach to Chrissy Field East Beach out 2.8 nautical miles, San Francisco, and the entire shoreline of San Francisco. This tornado is expected to strike the heart of the downtown San Francisco area within the next 10 minutes. Anyone who decided not to evacuate San Francisco due to the approaching Hurricane Murray and is somehow still alive, you must find any source of shelter that can somehow save your life. Above ground shelters will likely stand no chance against this tornado, and will be completely obliterated upon impact. Your chances of survival is very slim. As this tornado is capable of sweeping entire buildings, homes, and businesses off the face of the earth. Repeating, an extremely large, violent, deadly, and historic F5 tornado, associated from Hurricane Murray is on the ground. To protect your life, take cover now. Find anywhere that is in the lowest floor of a building you are currently in, such as a small room or a basement. Avoid windows. If you are in a mobile home, or outside, at your own risk, run as fast as you can to a nearby ditch or under a bridge, and cover your head with your hands, to protect yourself from flying debris. This is an emergency situation. Repeating, a tornado warning has been issued until 11.35 p.m. Pacific Daylight Time for the following counties, in California, Alameda, San Mateo, and Marin. Flash Flood Emergency for Sacramento The National Weather Service in Sacramento has issued a flash flood warning for Northwest Sutter County in Northern California, Northern Placer County in Northern California, Northeastern El Dorado County in Northern California, Sacramento County in Northern California, Eastern Amador County in Northern California, Southern San Joaquin County in Northern California, Southwestern Contra Costa County in Northern California, until 12.30 a.m. Pacific Daylight Time Friday. At 1.35 a.m. Pacific Daylight Time Thursday, National Weather Service Doppler Radar has detected a line of extremely dangerous and life-threatening thunderstorms that are producing extremely heavy rainfall across the city. 24 to 30 inches of rain is expected, with the potential of some isolated areas exceeding 36 inches of rain. This will cause widespread and catastrophic flooding to occur. Most, 
If not all neighborhoods will be completely submerged, small weak structures will suffer total destruction or are swept away, and large structures will be left with extensive to severe damage. Due to the extreme amounts of rainfall, this will cause the overflow of many lakes, rivers, streams, and creeks, which will cause even more flooding in the area. Lakes and creeks will act like raging rivers, and sewer systems will be completely overflowed with water and may be interrupted, and as a result, flood waters can be toxic some areas. Locations that are expected to experience extreme flash flooding include, downtown Sacramento, El Dorado, San Joaquin, Contra Costa, Placer, Sutter, Solano, and Yolo. Move to higher ground immediately. This is an extremely dangerous and life-threatening situation, and should be taken very seriously. If you are in an area that is prone to flooding, evacuate to higher ground immediately. If you see a closed or flooded road, turn around, don't drown. Extremely large and deadly tornado heading directly towards the Los Angeles metropolitan area. This is an extreme tornado emergency for the city of Los Angeles and surrounding areas. This is a mass casualty situation. Complete and utter devastation to the emergency area is expected. The National Weather Service in Los Angeles has issued a tornado warning for Central Los Angeles County in Southern California, Western Orange County in Southern California, Eastern Cerritos County in Southern California, Linwood County in Southern California, Southgate County in Southern California, until 12.45 a.m. Pacific Daylight Time. At 11.42 p.m. Pacific Daylight Time, a confirmed extremely large, violent, and deadly tornado associated from Hurricane Murray was located just 4 miles southwest of downtown Los Angeles, moving southeast at 50 miles per hour. Extreme tornado emergency for the city of Los Angeles and surrounding areas. This is a mass casualty situation. Complete and utter devastation to absolutely anything to the emergency area is expected. Anyone in the path of this once-in-a-lifetime West Coast tornado must seek shelter now. Although there are no underground shelters in California, it is recommended that you shelter in a basement or any room with a few windows and entrances to the outside world. Hazard, catastrophic, historic, and a once-in-a-lifetime West Coast tornado. Source, radar, emergency management, law enforcement, the public, police, local news stations, weather camps, and trained storm spotters reporting a large F5 tornado generated by Hurricane Murray near Interstate 10 heading directly towards downtown Los Angeles. At 11.39 p.m., the entire neighborhood of Hollywood was completely devastated. Most, if not all homes, businesses, and even apartment buildings have been completely swept clean from their foundations with almost nothing left. Roads, foundations, power poles, street lights, and vehicles have been completely mangled, scoured, and shredded beyond recognition, and were lifted into the air for miles. Moderate ground scouring has also been reported, resulting in homes and neighborhoods to be completely devastated. At 11.44 p.m., National Weather Service Dival Radar and Meteorologists have confirmed that this F5 tornado is approximately 2.8 miles wide, with velocities exceeding 270 miles per hour. Impact, you are in a life or death situation. There is almost no chance of surviving this tornado due to no underground shelters in the state of California and it not being built for extremely rare severe weather. Your only hope of survival is seeking shelter in a basement, a closet, or an interior room with a few windows and doors. Complete devastation of entire neighborhoods is likely. Most, if not all homes and businesses will be completely swept away. 
Most, if not all roadways and highways will be completely impassable, as trees and debris will block or destroy them completely. Mass devastation is expected making Los Angeles completely unrecognizable to survivors. Locations impacted include Los Angeles, Hollywood, Orange, Riverside, San Bernardino, Cerritos, Compton, Linwood, Southgate Century City, Beverly Hills, West Hollywood, Trousdale Estates, Huntington Beach, Pasadena, and Torrance. The USC campus and the Crypto.com Arena is in the direct path of this tornado. Anyone who decided not to evacuate Los Angeles due to the approaching Hurricane Murray and is in the path of this tornado must find any source of shelter that can somehow save your life. However, your chances of survival is still very slim. As this tornado is capable of sweeping entire buildings, homes, and businesses off the face of the earth. Repeating, an extremely large, violent, deadly, and historic F5 tornado, associated from Hurricane Murray is on the ground. To protect your life, take cover now. Find anywhere that is in the lowest floor of a building you are currently in, such as a small room or basement. Avoid windows. If you are in a mobile home, at your own risk, run as fast as you can to a nearby ditch or under a bridge, and cover your head with your hands, to protect yourself from flying debris. This is an emergency situation. Repeating, a tornado warning has been issued until 12.45 a.m. Pacific Daylight Time for the following counties, in California, Los Angeles, Orange, Cerritos, Linwood, and Southgate. The National Weather Service, along with the Pacific Tsunami Warning Center have issued a tsunami warning for the entire California coastline, including the Baja California Peninsula until further notice. This is a mass casualty situation. At approximately 1 p.m. Pacific Daylight Time, three mega tsunamis, associated from water spouts and extreme winds from Hurricane Murray, were detected by National Weather Service Doppler radar approximately 100 miles off the California coastline. These tsunamis are heading directly towards the shorelines of San Francisco, San Diego, and Los Angeles. These tsunamis are capable of causing catastrophic to apocalyptic devastation to the coast, and will make impact within the next 30 minutes to an hour. The height of these tsunamis are believed to be all identical, with all of them being over 200 feet, and are moving at a speed of 75 miles per hour. Everything within a 20-mile radius of the coast will be flooded, and all areas on the coast will be completely annihilated. Anyone who is still alive and remains near the coast is in extreme danger, no matter what direction the coast is facing. Tsunamis are large waves that are not surfable. All residents within a 20-mile radius of the coastline, if you are still alive, seek higher ground immediately. There is no time to evacuate. I repeat, there is no time to evacuate. Just find any source of high ground that will be enough to weather out these tsunamis. If you do not seek higher ground, you will absolutely face certain death. Tune into local media outlets for more information on this dangerous situation.
The following message is transmitted at the request of the Federal Emergency Management Agency and the National Weather Service. President Donald Trump has declared a state of emergency for the entire northern and southern portions of California. Apocalyptic annihilation as a result from Hurricane Murray has been reported in the region. According to emergency crews who are hovering over many major cities in the state of California to assess the damage, they have reported the following. There are no buildings, vehicles, trees, and people left. All what's left is huge chunks of debris and flooding almost everywhere. All power grids have cut off in the region, and the entire area will be without power for an indefinite period of time. The water supply has also been interrupted, and a result, flood waters have been toxic in some areas. In addition, the most famous landmark in California, the Golden Gate Bridge, has been completely swept away. Other famous landmarks in Sacramento, Los Angeles, San Diego, and many other cities, have also been completely swept from their foundations, with no trace of debris left nearby. Also, a report has confirmed, that the entire city of San Francisco was completely reduced to nothing. Experts have compared the damage from this hurricane to these cities, as if a nuclear bomb impacted, or these cities were just never even built or existed in the first place. Other areas in the Baja California Peninsula, and some areas in Mexico, have also suffered extensive damage, but are in much better condition than in areas in Northern and Southern California. Unfortunately, approximately only 70% of the metro's population have evacuated before the storm's unprecedented wrath of destruction. It is almost certain, that the other 30% are dead or missing. To those who have evacuated, do not return home. I repeat, do not return home. There is absolutely no home to return to, as it was most likely swept away from its foundation. It has also been reported, that the Diablo Canyon and the San Onofre nuclear power plants have been completely destroyed from Hurricane Murray. President Donald Trump is expected to deliver a message regarding the unbelievable destruction caused by the hurricane. Please stay tuned for more information on this heartbreaking situation.
Hello, my fellow Americans. I will not be answering anyone's questions right now. We have witnessed, and I mean it, the worst natural disaster in Earth's four billion years of existence. An unprecedentedly powerful hurricane, Murray, has struck California. I can't believe what I'm seeing from photos of the remains of one of the most heavily populated major cities in California. Los Angeles, Sacramento, San Diego, and many others, gone. There are no buildings, no cars, no people left. All from one powerful storm we have never seen before in the West Coast. This is definitely something we have never expected in California. Almost no hurricanes strike California due to typical cold ocean waters. But for some unknown reason, the ocean waters in the Pacific Ocean are much hotter than normal. That is the perfect condition of monster hurricanes, which took all major cities we have once known right from us. I can't even describe this as destruction. What I'm describing is cataclysmic annihilation. I am very pessimistic to say this, but I don't think Los Angeles, Sacramento, San Francisco, and many other cities will ever recover from this disaster. Best case scenario is that it will take decades, even centuries to rebuild them back, but we will most likely never see them again. I have declared a state of emergency for the northern and southern portions of California due to Hurricane Murray. I will also visit the cities that were completely wiped off the face of the earth. Even in the darkest of times, we will never let some event like this defeat us. We will rise up as a nation. We will rebuild the cities that were lost due to this situation. Although it would be decades until we get these cities back to their former glory, one day, they will come back stronger than ever. That concludes my message, and always, God bless America. Nuclear power plant warning. Repeat, nuclear power plant warning. This is not a drill. The following message is transmitted at the request of the California Governor's Office of Emergency Services. A nuclear power plant warning has been issued for all residents within a 100 mile radius of the following nuclear power plants. The San Onofre Nuclear Power Plant located in Pendleton and the Diablo Canyon Nuclear Power Plant in Avila Beach. A catastrophic event has occurred in both of these plants, which is posing a life-threatening situation to residents in the 100-mile emergency zone, thus prompting a general emergency. Both of these power plants have suffered catastrophic damage due to Hurricane Murray. All reactors have been completely destroyed, power grids inside these plants not being completely offline, structural damage causing rooms inside these plants to collapse, power excursions inside of these plants igniting fires, and a large release of radioactive materials into the atmosphere as a result. These power plants are set to explode within the next hour or two. Take the following precautions immediately for your safety. A mandatory evacuation order is in effect for the entire state of California. Failure to evacuate will result in almost certain death as the areas surrounding these plants will likely be uninhabitable due to large quantities of radioactive materials released into the air. When evacuating, tie a white color towel to a visible location such as your front door or mailbox to show the authorities that you have safely left the area. Do not use the towel if you need assistance. Should you require assistance, emergency management and law enforcement officials will escort you to the next pickup point. Make sure you have essential supplies for your journey, such as non-perishable food, water, clothing, medical supplies, a first aid kit, a fully charged cell phone phone chargers, toiletries, important documents, and a radio operated by batteries or hand crank, to last you and your family for the duration of this emergency. To prevent exposure from radioactive materials, put on a gas mask. Before you evacuate, make sure you turn off all heating and air conditioning systems, close all windows and doors, shut off all gas, and seal up any cracks on doors and windows with tape or damp towels. Do not pick up relatives from hospitals or nursing homes. 
These facilities have their own emergency procedures and will act on them accordingly. Speed limits are raised up to 100 miles per hour, so you can evacuate the city faster. However, contraflow has been put in effect at all highways in the warned area to ensure traffic is moving freely and efficiently. If you hear an air raid siren in your area, that means you are in the warned area and you need to evacuate for your safety. Most importantly, stay calm and do not panic. Panicking will only make the situation worse than it already is. Repeating, a nuclear power plant warning has been issued for all residents within a 100 mile radius of the following nuclear power plants, the Diablo Canyon Nuclear Power Plant located in Avila Beach, and the San Onofre Nuclear Power Plant located in Pendleton due to an unprecedented event that occurred in these two plants, caused by Hurricane Murray. Evacuate now. I repeat, evacuate now. If you stay in the warned area, you will most likely face certain death. Tune into local media outlets for more information on this dangerous situation. Hazard warning. The following is a radiological hazard warning. The following message is transmitted at the request of the Federal Emergency Management Agency. A radiological hazard warning has been issued for all residents within a 500 mile radius of the following nuclear power plants the Diablo Canyon Nuclear Power Plant located in Avila Beach and the San Onofre Nuclear Power Plant located in Pendleton. It has been confirmed that both of these plants have, in fact, exploded. These two explosions were so powerful that two large gleaming mushroom clouds have been seen as far east as Salt Lake City, Utah, as far north as Portland, Oregon, and as far south as Tijuana in Mexico. Radioactive fallout from these explosions is spreading rapidly in all four directions and is expected to impact the following areas, California, New Mexico, Nevada, Utah, Arizona, Oregon, Washington, and some parts of Mexico. Due to this, all residents receiving this message are strongly advised to seek a fallout shelter immediately. Fallout is a byproduct of nuclear attacks and explosions. Prolonged exposure to radioactive materials will result in radiation sickness and death if not treated properly. When an explosion occurs, it will only take a minute for the effects of fallout to spread and could spread for miles beyond the impact site. Fallout can also cause cancer, organ failure, and birth defects such as stillbirth. Remember the effects of a nuclear explosion, intense light, intense heat, and a blast shockwave. Make sure you have an adequate set of supplies for your shelter, such as non-perishable food, water, clothing, medical supplies, a first aid kit, a flashlight, a fully charged cell phone phone chargers, toiletries, important documents, and radio operated by batteries or hand crank to last you and your family for at least 14 days. If you cannot find a fallout shelter, either the National Guard will lead you to one, or seek shelter in an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. Stay away from windows, doors, and outside walls. Put as many objects between you and the outside world as possible. Do not leave your shelter until the 14-day time period is expired, or once told by the proper authorities. If you leave your shelter, you will be exposing yourself to deadly radioactive fallout. Most importantly, stay calm, and do not panic. Panicking will only make the situation worse than it already is. Please stay tuned to this station for more information on this dangerous situation.
an administrative message from the Federal Emergency Management Agency. The nuclear fallout from the two explosions from the Diablo Canyon nuclear power plant and the San Onofre nuclear power plant have finally cleared out of the area, and residents, if you are still alive, are allowed to exit their shelters at this time. However, there is almost nothing left in areas that were surrounding the nuclear power plants. It may take decades, maybe even centuries, to rebuild everything that was lost due to this situation. The entire state of California will be completely impassable for the foreseeable future, as there are huge amounts of radioactive particles in the air, and the entire city's being completely obliterated due to Hurricane Murray and the nuclear power plant explosions. Repeating, the nuclear fallout from the explosions from the Diablo Canyon nuclear power plant and the San Onofre nuclear power plant have cleared out of the area, and all residents may exit their shelters at this time. Please stay tuned to the station for more information on this heartbreaking situation. Thank you. 